What's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we're going to be looking at two more figures from the Marvel Legends Venom Wave. This is obviously a figure we already looked at before. This is the Venom figure with the Venom body and everything, but we were able to take off the head and put the pork rind head from Spider-Ham. So that way you could have Spider-Ham fight his arch nemesis, or one of his arch nemesis, which is pork rind here. And you can see the size different. That's kind of how they were drawn in the comics originally, was that kind of size and scale difference. Pork rind was much, much bigger than Spider-Ham. So obviously no need to go over the points of articulation. They're the same as the Eddie Brock figure that we talked about because it's the same body. It just has a different head on it. And it was a head that came with the Spider-Ham figure. So let me know what you think of that down below. And while you're doing that, let's take a look at the big figure, the build a figure of this line, which is Monster Venom, which just looks amazing. This thing is so awesome and he's humongous. Actually, if you want a quick size comparison, here he is. He's about the same size and height as the other Venom if you put the pork rind head on him, but just look at the scale. Look how big he is, how thick he is uh, on this guy. I mean, he is massive and uh, he just looks really cool. The head does bend. Uh, I had a little trouble bending it, but it does bend. It goes up and down. Uh, it's supposed to be a little bit more fluid than that, I think, but uh, I'm having a little trouble with it. Mine's a little stuck, I think, in some areas, but uh, that's okay. As long as you can turn the head side by side, there is a ball joint there. Uh, the arms do, you know, we put them together like a Frankenstein monster. You snap the legs on, you snap the arms on. Every character in the series, as you know, came with one of these pieces. And he has all the same articulation. He's got the swivel here. He's got the ball joint in his arm. He's got the uh, hands move in all directions. He's got the elbow bend, which again, mine is very rigid. <laughs> very, very rigid. But there you go. It works. Um, then you have the waist. You got the torso. You got the upper thigh and the ball joint in the upper leg. And then you also have the knee bend in two places. And then you have the foot, and there's even an ankle swivel there in the lower uh, leg. So that's pretty great. So he's got all the similar points, although some of them are a little bit harder to maneuver. I think I just have to break this in a little bit, which is fine. He's still fresh. I just built him just now after we finished recording all these videos. And I did slowly upload them, but hopefully you guys saw them all. Hopefully I got them all up within a week or two. Uh, of the first one going up. So I appreciate you guys sticking in there and waiting for me and waiting to see this big monster figure. I would love to know your thoughts on him down below. So please let me know. I think he's great. I, I love the size of him. He's uh, not as tall as I would have liked. I wish the legs maybe were a little bit longer, but uh, it is kind of, you know, it, it is, it looks good. I mean, overall, I think it looks good. He kind of has longer arms than he does legs and there's a part of me that's okay with that and there's a part of me that's not okay with it uh but for you know to to fill up that monster uh quota i guess to to hit that actual title of monster venom uh he does look great he looks powerful and that's the biggest thing is that you want him to look powerful and menacing and you want him to really look like he could break the other figures in half and that he does. So for that reason alone, I love him. I'm glad I got the whole set. I rarely get to buy Marvel Legends anymore. And the fact that I was able to get a whole series of them uh, was really great. I'm very thankful. So thank all of you guys for supporting the show and for pushing me to do this and getting these figures. Hopefully you liked my videos on them. Let me know what you think down below. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.